your job. Marco's here for FightHubTV.com in Irvine, California, being joined by none other than Gabe Godzilla Rudiger. So, Gabe, last time I saw you was at Tachi Palace Fights 5. It was. Uh, you came out with the victory, and there was... <laughs> Squeak that one out. <laughs> and there was uh, talk about you and Razor Rob. Yeah. Now, we heard now that you have signed with the UFC. Congratulations. How's that feel? How, how was, take me through that day when you got that phone call. Uh, it was incredible. I, uh, you know, I, I wasn't going to fight. Um, I had some things going on in my life, and uh, my manager calls me, and he's like, how would you feel about fighting the UFC again? And I said, I'd love to fight in the UFC again. He's like, okay, how about in three weeks? And I'm like, uh, I don't know about in three weeks. He's like, Joe Lazon's the opponent. I'm like, S sign it. I'm done. I don't care how much it is. If they're going to pay me two and two, I want that fight. I wanted to fight Joe for three plus years to finally get that opportunity. Like, just that was that, that, that added push that would make me sign. Let's go. I don't care. Three weeks is not a lot of time to prepare for someone, and Joe's tough, but I got right. I, I left. I was in San Diego. I drove back home, got to the gym right away, and started training that day. So, I feel good. Why is it that Joe just pushed you to... to to have that fight in that such little time. Well, uh, you know, I actually respect Joe Lazon, and uh, but he's someone that I was on the show with, and I liked Joe when we were on the show together. But he talked really poorly about me afterwards, and I, he just seems very cocky, and that makes me want to smash his face. Him and his brother both talk so much shit about me, and I hold grudges. I'm that type of person. That's me. Like, there's people that. I got in fights in grade school. If I find them, I'm gonna smash them too. That's just my that's my personality. And actually, I, re I respect Joe as a fighter. I mean, I really do. Like when it's all said and done, it's it's, it's all bullshit. And I hope that we're friends when and we can shake hands at the end. But it's gonna be my hand raised, and then we'll shake hands. How do you see that fight going? I know. He me looking at the fight, it's a great fight style-wise. It's going to be an action-packed fight. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, you watch it. Joe Joe goes for the finish. I go for the finish. Um, you know, I, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be one of those fights that the fans are going to watch and watch. And fortunately, it's going to be on Spike TV, so the fans are going to be able to, to tune in and watch it live. Um, it's not gonna. It's it's gonna be a finish. I mean, you know, look at our records. There are we both have decisions, but they're very far and few uh, few few between. Far, few <laughs> far yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, but you know, I it's I, I I think that I'm better striking. I think I'm better grappling. Um, you know, uh, the, the the best thing that Joe had was that I took the fight on three weeks' notice. But my preparation has been surprisingly good. I went to the gym on Thursday. I came in on Friday and was I did four fives of, of MMA mm -hmm. to see where I was at. I got through it. I was like, did it suck? Yeah, but I wasn't gassed. And I was like, okay, cool. And I'm doing three to four rounds every day. Um, you know, or, uh, three to three to four workouts every day, yeah. not three to four rounds. Three to four workouts every day. And I, let's go in there and you know, let's you know again. It's gonna it's gonna be exciting. I know it. I know it. I mean, Joe do, he doesn't hold anything back. I don't hold anything back. We're gonna collide in the in the middle, and my hands gonna get raised. So I'm really, really confident. I can't wait for the fight. Talk about this training camp. Who are you working with? Who's helping you out? What are you doing? Uh, it's been really, really good. Uh, you know, I'm at PKG. Uh, Mac Danzig's getting ready for Matt Wyman, and that, that was another dream match for me. But Mac and I have both been uh, working head-to-head. Uh, -head. And then I've got Jeremy Humphreys. I've got Chad George. I've got... Uh, 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 Steve Magdaleno, I've got uh, Noah Tillis, I've got all these guys in there in the room every day, and then uh, you know I've got Batiste Mensur has been coming holding pads for me every day. Uh, I've been doing Valley CrossFit every day. I feel like I'm in great shape, and I've been bringing in good guys, and I, you know it's going to be a good, exciting fight. It's been a very, very long time since you've been back in the UFC. Yeah. Uh, does it feel like you're coming full circle finally, and just getting rid of? what the the views people had of you in the past me absolutely i think it's a good time for me because mentally i'm stronger and you know what i think in order to to really to meet your 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 real uh potential you have to fall and i fell hard i mean i you know i and i had to rise up it wasn't like you know it was like oh i was on the show and then i had to go through a lot of trials i mean i went from losing my you know uh losing my shot on the show then uh, i went and i had uh i had to have neck surgery and then i had to go on a, a, a serious win streak it's not like i just had two fights to come back and it made me a stronger person and obviously like you know that was hard for me but I persevered and right now I, I can't think of a better time mentally for this fight than right now. Going back to the UFC, that's that's you know, that's the epitome of just working my ass off. I mean I've been in the gym nonstop and and uh, you know the 
I, I'm so thankful to the Tashi Palace that they got me an opportunity to fight for the title, and I fought a very tough guy. Uh, Lenny Lovato was very tough, and I think Rob and I would have had a great fight, but the UFC is the UFC. Yeah. Certainly all business. Gabe Rudiger, thank you very much for the interview. We look forward to your fight. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys.